Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Anna and I'm a little bit spooky. And today we're playing with the Milani Salt and Pepper palette because, I mean, it's awesome. And yeah, we created this kind of pinky, rose gold, warm, but kind of cool look and paired it with the Shoop lipstick. Reminder of how beautiful this palette is. I mean, ugh, I love it so much. And the quality is so damn good. Yeah, this is the look we uh, created. And if you want to see how I got this look, go ahead and keep on watching. But before you do, please like and subscribe and comment down below. Let me know some looks you would like to see. Yeah, just let me know down below. And without further ado, let's get into this look. Good morning. Okay, so today we're going to play with the Milani Salt and Pepper palette again. I want to uh, dive into these more cool pinky tones in here. Oh my god, how pretty is this palette though? I mean, I still, every time I pick it up, I'm like, damn. Lonnie, you did that. This is beautiful. So I want to go in with the more rosy gold tones and the pinks and there's like a dusty purple in here. And I just kind of want to see what happens. So uh, let's get started. I have already primed my eyes using the Revlon eyeshadow. I want to start this look off by hitting the brow bone. Whoa, whoa. Hello, focus. We're gonna take the bone shade and hit underneath the brow bone. I'm not gonna tell you the shade names orally because I don't know them. <laughs> They're on the back of the palette and it's real hard to figure out what is what. And if you hear thunder, it's because it's raining and storming today. Now I've gotta go to work today. We took off yesterday from Memorial Day, but yep, it's Tuesday. I got some shit to do. I got things to make. Did I mention how much I love the mattes in this palette? Very reminiscent of Anastasia Beverly, Beverly Hills in performance. Oh, and I've also put some of the e.l.f. camo concealer on my lids just to kind of blank them out and get a nice blank canvas and set them a little bit of translucent powder. Next, I'm going to take a fluffy brush and I'm going to go into the rosy pink color and just start running that through the transition. Would you guys like to see like an unedited video of like how long it really takes to blend eyeshadow? Raw Beauty Christie was kind of talking about that kind of thing. Now that's a really interesting idea. And also, I love this color. It's like a very rosy pink. Very nice. I'm just gonna take that all the way in up here to the inner brow. Okay, next I'm gonna take the more purpley tone. Bring that just a little lower. Ooh. <laughs> Pigment. Hello. That is pretty. A little bit of the pink shade just to soften. I just want to take a little bit of this brownie kind of camel color just into the crease a little bit. Just kind of warm that up. Add a different dimension in there. Yeah, that looks good. That's what I was looking for. Come on, tone down the pink just a little bit. Very nice. I like it. Next, I'm going to take um, just a small little brush here. This is a Morphe 456. I'm going to go into the cooler tone brown. It's just a classic deep brown. I'm going to put that on the outer corner here and start to add some depth. Trying to remind myself we're keeping it a little bit more on the cooler tone side. This is still like a warmer pinky look, but it's cooler than say the other shades in the palette. I'm using this to kind of build up that outer corner and get that depth in there. Just building that up and letting it flow into our transition shades. Really building softly. These shades are pretty pigmented. I'm just kind of really giving it a lifted effect to the outer corner is what I'm, my goal. Did anyone watch uh, the Emily edit? She was doing, not, yeah, is it the Emily edit? No, that's the palette. <laughs> Emily Noel. She was doing a video about makeup for news anchors. Honestly, I got like a little, lot of like cool tips from that video, even though it's like, doesn't really apply to me, I guess I'm not a news anchor or anything, but just for day-to-day -day makeup, I was like, hmm, I think, those tips would be great if you're a vlogger or something, you know, and you're on camera, but you're not necessarily into makeup or anything, and you're not a beauty channel necessarily, but you just want your makeup to look nice, and one little advice on how to do that to keep your features from getting lost and all that for filming, that video, I will link it in the cards, because it was really informative, and just, I don't know, I really enjoyed it. I mean, I love her videos anyways. She just makes me happy. 
to watch. Like we have, we're polar opposite types of people. It's like with Coffee Break with Danny. I adore her. Polar opposite types of people, but I still love her. And I, I think that's why I'm attracted to people like that because we're so different. And I like to see variety. I guess I, you know, I don't want to see people that are all the same and just like me. Variety is the spice of life. I'm just kind of sweeping it around through the lower part of my crease and uh, transition. Of our blending brushes here. A little bit more of that rosy pink. And just make sure that brown is really blended in. Not that this palette isn't necessarily hard to blend at all. It's Pretty user friendly palette. I'm gonna take a Morphe 506 and a little bit of the black in the palette and just start working that in the outer corner as well. Building very slow, pausing as little products as I can, you know, starting light and building up. And blending. And that just gives it a little bit extra depth out there. And take a little more brown. Just right around the edge. Just slowly build. Go back in with our original blending brush and a little bit of that pink. And just blend everything. Very nice. I like it. So now I'm going to try to clean up a little bit on the brow bone. I'm gonna clean off this little fluffy brush, go back into that brow bone highlight shade, and just right here. Now on the lid, I want to take the rose gold shimmer shade, and to apply it, I'm going to use a little sponge tip applicator. I find the shimmers in this palette perform best either on a little applicator like this. And this is just a beautiful rosy gold color. It's, it's so pretty. Wait, wait, just wait till you see it. I'm gonna take this on the kind of center and front portion of the lid and let it just flow into our deeper shades. I mean, can you see how pretty that is? The metallics in this palette are just on another level. Look at that with a finger. Wow. I'm still just, just impressed every time I use this palette. I'm like, damn Milani. I need more of your palettes now. I think that's so pretty. I love that shade. I think that's just very just elegant. <laughs> okay, I go back into my brush I used on the outer corner with the black. I'm gonna take a little bit more and just let that flow into that shimmer. Look at that drama. Oh yeah, that looks nice. Love it. Now for a little bit of liner, I'm going to use the Pillow Talk Liner from Charlotte Tilbury. I think that will look really pretty on the upper lash line. I don't think of it really do a wing. Okay, so I'm gonna go clean up the fallout, do my face and my back for finishing touches in the lower lash line in just a minute. Finish is on, bronzer, blush, all that. Let's go ahead and finish up this lower lash line real quick. On the lower lash line, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna use this little brush that we used on the outer corner. I'm gonna go into the pinky rose shade and just run that along this lower lash line. All right, and I think I'm gonna take a little bit of, I think I'm done with the lower lash line, honestly. That looks good just as it is. Um, maybe we'll take a little bit of that shimmer we used on the lid and just run it right here. Just on that first little part. Yeah, it just kind of adds a little bit of cohesiveness. On the innermost corner, I'm gonna put a little bit of the face highlighter shade in the palette, the illuminating powder, whatever they called it, right there. 
kind of build it up and let it flow into the eyeshadow. Okay, and that's basically the eyes done. Let's go ahead and put a little bit of this highlighter on from the palette on the, the cheekbones. Very glowy. <laughs> Might have put on a little too much there. <laughs> What's new? Take my blush brush and just kind of maybe blend that in a little bit. Yeah, okay. Okay, and let's go ahead and do the lips. I'm gonna line my lips with Shoop lip liner. And of course, we're going with the sheep lipstick. Now, I'm gonna go off camera and put on some mascara, choose the hair, put my earrings back on, and we'll be right back. Okay, and here is the look complete using the Salt and Pepper palette from Milani. It's like a nice rose goldy, kind of dramatic, warm, but pinky look. I think it's really, really pretty, and I feel like it needs some lashes. And of course, I paired it with the Shoop lipstick and lip liner, which is pretty much my favorite lipstick ever right now. And yeah, this is the look done. What do you guys think? Don't forget to comment down below and let me know some looks you would like to see. If you have any questions, tips, and tricks you would like to know about, let me know down below. And yeah. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Stay spooky and stay safe. Bye now.